Believe me, I know what you're thinking. The first time that I heard of this steak dinner that cost $1,000, my first thought right away was, I wish I could try it one day. And today we are doing it, and I just had to bring you guys along so you could see for yourself what this $1,000 steak consists of. And today we have some surprise guests. We got Greta and Popsy here. You guys ready to uh, feast today? Yeah, I'm scared. My first ever food tour. <laughs> me Pretty too. Excited. Yes, that's what we are doing, guys. We are doing a food tour with Lip Smacking Foodie Tours. I uh, hope everybody's hungry. You guys are gonna get to experience three of the top steakhouses in Las Vegas. We're gonna start here over at Bazaar Meat by Jose Andres. And for today's tour, we actually have yeah, Donald yeah, here. Donald. He is the actual owner yeah, of Lip cool. Smacking Foodie Tours, so it's a pleasure to have you today, dude. Yeah. Pleasure having you. I hope you came hungry. Welcome to the Ultimate Steakhouse Tour. So here we have uh, the Amuse Bouche, which is the caipirinha made with liquid nitrogen. The spirit in here is cachaça, which is a Brazilian uh, spirit. It's very similar to a Brazilian rum. So I don't think I've ever had a caipirinha where I have to like eat it with a spoon. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Huh? It's so yeah, good. Delicious. It's like a caipirinha, but like a sorbet style. Chirina foie gras wrapped in amaranth, which is a grain, so a nice little crunch. Cotton candy on the outside. Simply pick one up, one bite. Get all the flavors. It's like something inside that I wasn't expecting. Oh yeah, it's foie gras. Yeah, it's good. Like at first you get like this mouthful of cotton candy, and then you don't expect that foie gras in the middle. What did Pouncy think? I feel like I would have preferred it just with the cotton candy. <laughs> All right, so this is a little bit different than my usual uh, tours that I do because there are a few more influencers on the table. Of course, we know the Greta and the Pompsy, and then we've got a few more people over here, which I'll introduce you guys in a second. We have a floral cloud, the gin-based drink done with uh, some citrus cream vet, then finished with a floral cloud. And the cloud is actually made out of uh, rose water, hibiscus flower, and uh, liquid nitrogen. Oh, wow. Freaking delicious and great presentation for sure. Chef recommends starting with the traditional olives in the tin can. They are Spanish queen olives stuffed with piquillo peppers and anchovies. You're going to find the same flavor, same components in those modern Ferran Andreas spheres on the spoons. So this is supposed to be like a liquid olive and I love olives actually. I love olives too. Mm. Oh, I love that. It's like a liquidy, a really liquidy egg yolk. It kind of like burst. It did. I Ew. liked it. I actually really, I would have like 10 more of these. So this is the Iberico de Bellota. It's the prize Ramon, the prize pig of Spain. Uh, it's aged a minimum four years. It's the top tier ham that you're able to get. It's cured, aged four years. These pigs eat black acorns, so you could taste some nuttiness with it. Mm, they're so good. So meaty and so buttery at the same time. It's a thinly sliced slicing that is also finished with compressed celery right in the center. Right on the outside, we have the blue cheese cream. And right on top of the beef itself, we finish it with buffalo wing sauce, which has been done with chicken glaze. It has a little bit of spice to it, and this is meant to be enjoyed in one bite. Mm. Oh, yeah, you gotta go. Ooh. Right. A little spicy. A little spicy, but I love how tender the meat yeah. is. Right, so I'm going to go over over a house made salad with some sesame seeds and freshly grated wasabi root. So I told you guys that this table is full of influencers and one of them right here sitting next to me, we got Drew. Uh, if you guys ever want to follow him for lots of food, lots of great stuff here in Vegas, uh, just go on to Unlocked on Instagram. I'm here hanging out. Drew, love you guys. Uh, beautiful steakhouse tour. We're along for the ride. Okay, so we just got the Kobe. I'm so excited. Cheers. Ready, Cheers. What the heck? It's butter. It's like butter in your mouth and so good. Oh my god, I need another piece. Delicious. Right now. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> this right here is definitely one of the reasons why this costs a thousand dollars. And worth it. Yeah. And worth it. <laughs> you guys ever come to Bazaar Me, it's got this for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And the mashed potatoes, guys, they call it butter, butter, and potatoes. So it's like what they say, 50% mashed potatoes and the other 50%. It feels like 98% butter and 2% potatoes. <laughs> I think like top three mashed potatoes I've ever had in my life. Maybe even like maybe top one. But yeah. <laughs> like the moment you like bite into it, it's like super creamy, it just spreads all over like your tongue. It's and you have like this remaining like butter taste in your mouth. Ugh. So now we're going on to the next spot, but look at our ride! Party time! We're at 
the Bellagio. Another celebrity chef, John George, two-time Michelin Award winning chef, James Beard Award winner. This is his steakhouse, one of two in Las Vegas. This has been here since the Bellagio opened just over 20 years ago. John. Christian, we're gonna speak. Hi, Hi, how are you? Hi. Ooh, look at this. I don't think I've ever been in this patio before. So for this place, uh, I've never been here before and this has been on my bucket list for sure. So I just can't believe that we get to come to this place on this tour. Thank you. So all tours start like this. You come out to the little patio. VIP. We wow. Just, we get the table seating or overlooking the fountains of Bellagio. This is delicious, by the way. Now for the actual restaurant. Wow. This place is so nice. First time here? It is, actually. Me too. I don't even know how to describe this place. This place is just beautiful and like fancy. It's got definitely the best location possible. The first course is here. I do have the uh, carpaccio with enoki mushrooms, arugula, uh, parmesan cheese with a sesame vinaigrette. So we have a, a meat connoisseur here, so let's find out how this is. Wow. That's like such a thin meat, but it's so flavorful. Refreshing too. That is good. I like, I it. like I'm it. I'm a big fan. Guys, this is another reason why this dinner costs a thousand dollars. They give us like a full plate of king thing. crab, and then we have like steak on here, and not just any steak. This is gonna be the F1 grade New York strip that comes along with like store rice wine, Bernays, peppercorn sauces, and shaved truffle. You guys saw how much truffle they put on this, and they have this bit of butter right here for the king crab. And this is all included in your foodie tour, like they are not skipping out. And that was just one. I still have a whole nother one to eat. Time to try this F1 New York strip with truffle, y'all. It's a nice New York strip. It's still really juicy too. And then with the sauce as well. That's such a tangy sauce. Prime Steakhouse, successful. Are you guys excited? So excited, so happy. I'm so hungry too. Our final steakhouse, Mastro's Ocean Club. The original is from Arizona. They're known for their steaks, their seafood, and their dessert that trends on social media under the hashtag warm butter cake. Wow! So we literally just come into the restaurant and they have these like glasses just ready for us. And then they come in with shakers and they pour in lemon drops into dry ice, guys. So good. And it's not like sour or anything. These are so amazing. Oh my god. What? Hold on. What is going on? Hold on. Wait, why? What? Oh my god, it's hot. This is hot, guys. What the heck? Ow! Oh, it smells like lobster too. That's like two babies right there. Everybody's freaking out over this giant lobster. This is like how things are different when it's like I go out and I film by myself and then we're in a table full of like influencers. We will draw attention to ourselves. Pick that up, Drew. Oh, dude, it's a lot. Not only did they bring a huge lobster to us, but they even brought this appetizer here. This is gonna be the Berry Sea Red King Crab Claws. So we got Vegas Starfish here with us. Uh, you guys have to follow her too. She has so yeah, much, I thought you was too. so much content. So this is a lobster oh claw, God, right? Yes, still still from on. the Bering Strait. I'm gonna bite it, Jen. Go for it. Oh, that's a lot of crab. <laughs> This is so much meat, it's so flaky, it's like so fresh too. Again guys, bigger than my hand. This is the 40 ounce uh, Snake River Farms Wagyu Tomahawk with the uh, seven and a half pound main lobster. Look at this beauty. So we're about to try this Wagyu ribeye, y'all. It melts in my mouth. That thing is so smooth, like butter washes with one hand. Don't embarrass me now, don't look. That is the best steak we've had today. It's like so delicious. I agree. Like easily, we could spend $400 here. Easily. 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 For like two people. Oh my God, like completely. And like appetizing for sure. Oh my God. Best steak of the day, for sure. We're gonna dip this butter now. Ah! Oh, the butter is dripping. That butter is dripping, man. Oh my God, in my mouth, dude, dude. Crazy. What did you think? I think it's incredible. This is actually really good.
There is no way you can be incognito with all these influencers. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, my yeah, Lord. daddy. Yeah. <laughs> So we have the New York style cheesecake with graham cracker crust, the flourless chocolate sin, that's a flourless chocolate cake, uh, there's a little espresso to it, creme anglaise, raspberry, the signature warm butter cake, that has sweet cream cheese inside, vanilla bean ice cream on top. You ready? I'm ready. What should we get first? That rum cake? Butter cake. Cheers. Whoa. That butter cake? That'll put you to sleep right there. Yeah, that'll, put you to, that'll put you to sleep right there. Cheesecake. I think this might be a fucking crap. Cheesecake. It is so smooth. Not too heavy. Really nice. Chocolate. Super Actual rich. Yeah, they like wow. it. If you love chocolate, you will love this. That's, yeah, very chocolate. Woo! Not a big chocolate guy, but that's. Yes. <laughs> so it may be a thousand dollar dinner, but we probably ate way more than a thousand calories. I am so freaking full. How are you guys? I'm like so stuffed. Yeah, I'm super stuffed. I am not gonna eat for like two days. All right, guys. So if you can, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends. We're half asleep, so please do all that. And please comment below. Out of all this, what would you have? And would you get this thousand dollar steak dinner? Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Can you say that one more time? So we have a. We roll it up. Take it with one bite. Thank you. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love it. She's like, fuck. Day 10 out of 10. Consistency, minus 10. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I liked it. I actually really, I would have like 10 more of these, honestly. So I told you guys that this table is full of influencers, and this is one of them. This is Drew. He, if you want to follow him, this is. What am I saying? That's why I always tell people, like, Bizarre Meats is one of my favorite steakhouses. By far. Sure. It's, it's yeah. top in Vegas for sure. You know, nothing like a nice little, nice, moist piece of meat in your mouth, you know? Do you guys like? Almost killing it, dude. With the descriptions, the adjectives. We have to, awesome. yeah. <laughs> the butter on your tongue. The I love it. Keep going. Man. She's like, don't let it stop you. Keep going. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. It's like I'm dead. Just, like, just, wait for the water <laughs> just, just bend down real quick. <laughs> Looks like some good wine. <laughs> Did you like it? Uh, oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> There's a camera there. Alright, Palmsy, I'm gonna get you getting that from that. Oh, no, I'm messing it up there, dude. <laughs> Alright, we'll get it. What am I supposed to get? Am I supposed to Dude, what the heck? Like, we got a full plate of just king crab for us. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I was like, you said, dude, what the heck? I thought it was. Oh, no, no, no. Watch it. That's right, I do it. I dare you. Okay. Don't do it, don't do it. No, don't! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm s